Today I'm gonna show this basic boost motor setup over here. This setup I'm going to play around with the uh, back EMF spike a little bit. Normally I don't do that, but just for the fun of it, decided to uh, take a go at it. Um, here, this is just a simple. Uh, Bedini type circuitry uh, tip 355 110 neo bulb over there a 100k pot capacitor and a diode at this moment I'm not using the back EMF this meter over here is for the input and the digital meter is the input voltage I'm waiting for one of those 100 milliamps meter to put it over here and that way I can um, uh, take a look at the output milliamps from the uh, back EMF this rotor over here is a uh, it's a uh, that, uh, they call this mechanical plastic it's a uh, very uh, good plastic it can handle a lot of pressure not that I need it with this rotor, but I decided to use it to make some rotors. And on the bottom, it's just an old V recorder head. You can see over here and there. These pulleys on here, uh, I let them on the uh, V recorder head so I can glue my rotor on it. You can see the gray stuff in there, that's the glue because I didn't want to drill into the rotor that's why I left it like that gonna put it over here give me a second should be going down, oh, there it goes almost there give me a second Two hands is always better than one hand. Yep. Okay, it's in its place. Then I'll take it off. You can see it spin freely. Gonna drive it on a uh, 12 volt battery, which is now at 12.8. Let's start its puppy up. Give it a little spin. It's pulling now uh, around 50 milliamps. Let me adjust the pot a little bit. Now it's around 40 milliamps. There you can see the uh, neon going. The speed isn't that much. It's uh, around 400 RPM, which is more than enough. The drive coil is an air core coil. And I have a little bit of the trigger coil on there also. My trigger coil is on the top and on the front. Just a few turns over here. It is running pretty smooth. Pulling now around 50 milliamps. Gonna tune it a little bit. Let's see how low we can go with the milliamps while having some back EMF over here Neon is still going yeah the Neon is still going and the input milliamps is now 5 milliamps let's see if we can tune it a little bit more it's still around 5 milliamps still 5 the neon is still producing or not producing glowing a little bit yeah, just a tiny bit below 5 now not much as you can see over here yeah it's like 4, 4.5 four milliamps there's a neon Flickering in the dark. Input voltage. There's the neon. So yeah. 
give you a complete view of it. And this arm is nothing special, I can move it up and down. That's the only reason for it. When I'm gonna shelve that uh, that pose motor, I can pull it down like that and slide it between my shelves under my workbench. I mean, so for now, I'll put it like this. Just handy. Tune it a little bit more. Still have uh, some back EMF going there. Yeah, still at five milliamps. So yeah, twelve point eight, five milliamps, and still have some back EMF to light up this 110 neon. So yeah, nothing special, just something to play with. I haven't played with back EMF in a long time. When I get my second meter this week, hopefully, I will put it in there, hook it up, and we'll take it from there. Hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching.